Hey everybody, welcome back to Free Run Speed. This is Dave Jewell. I'm here to talk to you about a trail shoe. It's the New Balance Vazi Summit 2. It's been out in the market for a while and I've never run in the Vazi Summit, so. So this is the Vazi Summit 2. This is what uh, I've been testing for the last month and a half. Gonna go do 90 minutes, be back and talk to you. That was a hard one. For some reason, the weekends have been uh, warm and dry this year. I left at 8.15 this morning and it was already almost 70 degrees and the humidity is under 10%, so crazy dry. Makes for a hard run. Good thing I had my water and uh, hammer gel with me. That would have been even harder. I was thinking about uh, the Vazi Summit too when I was out there running. This is the fourth run that I've done over 90 minutes in the shoe. And I've done probably another seven or eight runs of an hour or more on trails. And I know I've done uh, three hill repeat sessions in the shoe. So that's uh, 15, 16 runs in, in the Vazi Summit. I pre have a pretty good idea of, of what's good about this shoe and, and why I like it. Uh, just a little bit of uh, detail. I went into the store. I had no, no plans of what shoe I was going to buy. I did it exactly like probably you would do. You go into the store, try a bunch of shoes on, you take the one that is the most comfortable. I wasn't looking at stack heights or midsole drop or anything. I didn't even think about any of that. I just grabbed a bunch of shoes off the wall, said, here, give me these in my size, and that's what I chose. It's pretty easy to see why this shoe fits my foot so well. You can see inside, that's kind of the shape of my foot. So that and this tongue here that is attached really works with my foot really well. Really hugs my instep, so that's why that's why I like it. Uh, if you've got a really high instep, it probably be a little tight on you. Uh, you can see up in the forefoot, it still buckles a little bit on my foot. Uh, again. I pull my shoes really, really tight. I want them tight, so I didn't even notice it, but uh, that's what it's doing. I was a little worried uh, because this shoe is almost like a racing flat. It's really low to the ground. You can see how my thumb is almost the entire midsole. It's really low to the ground. So I was a little bit worried that I'd feel the rocks and uh, that it wouldn't be enough shoe for me. And to be honest with you, I think in 90 to 100 minutes is about the most I could run in it. I couldn't, I don't think two hours, my, I don't think my feet would do too well in it. But overall, man, I run in this shoe and I don't, I don't feel it. I don't feel rocks, I don't feel anything. And that is the, the key to a great trail shoe or any running shoe. This is a shoe you don't feel. And uh, that's exactly what this Vazi Summit does for me. I don't feel it. And that's uh, really important. It's super aggressive tread. Uh, give you an idea, on, I ran on hard pack, ran on single track, I ran in trails with a ton of rocks. And to, like today, and I did this a number of times on horse trails that are full of uh, wood chips. And the shoe performed well on all of it. I didn't feel the rocks on the hard pack. And like on the wood chips today, my foot was able to go with the trail. Wood chips are really difficult to run in, specifically if your foot is, your shoe is actually fighting the trail. Uh, my foot was able to move with the the nuance of the trail 
and that's that's great. That that way I don't feel my feet or don't feel the shoe. So that was good. Upper kind of ballistic up here on the side in case if you if you hit rocks and I hit a number of rocks. Uh, I can tell you that. Pretty narrow through the, through the arch here. Almost like a racing flat or a cross country shoe. All right, three things that I really like about the Vazi Summit too. One, it fits my foot. So if you've got a narrow foot with a slightly low instep, this shoe's gonna be great for it. Clearly, if you've got a wider foot with a higher instep, probably not gonna work so well for you. So anyway, but I love the fit. The traction is awesome. On all the varying surfaces, had no issues with traction. I think it does better in worse conditions. So wood chip trail, I believe, is one of the worst you could run on because your foot never is stable. Your foot is all over the place. And the summit just went with the trail, went with that surface, worked great. The third thing that I really like about it is I didn't get anything in my shoes. So maybe that's because it fits so well. Probably that's the reason. But nothing got into my shoes, which is pretty rare, spe specifically on wood chips. Wood chip trails, I almost always get stuff in my shoes. But I never got wood chips in, in the body. Couple challenges. Like I said, I don't think I can run two hours or more in it. I think my feet would be too beat up. It's perfect shoe for 90 minutes, 90 to 100 minutes on super technical trails. And second thing, everybody's going to those uh, ultra thin laces. You gotta double knot it. There's, there's no way, your shoes will come untied. I like the lace because it's thin. I like the lace because it ties really tight but you gotta double knot it. I got a special request for anybody who's running the Vazi Summit and is now running in the Vazi Summit too. They're completely different shoes. I'd love to know what you guys think because I didn't run in the Vazi Summit, only in the Summit 2. I've got a lot of friends that run in the, the Vazi Summit, but they didn't buy the Summit 2. So I'd be interested to find out if anybody ran in both of them. Leave your comments below, tell us what what they changed, what you like about it, what you didn't like about it, which one you like better. I'd sure like to know that, and I'm sure New Balance would like to know that too, based on uh, whatever, you, whatever you think. Just tell us what you think. If you like these videos um, and want to comment, leave a comment below. If you got questions about your running form or running shoes, anything about running, put something in the comments, I'll get back to you. You can follow me on Instagram at SuperDaveJewel. Go to the website, there's tons of information on running form and running shoes and everything else about running. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great run. Talk to you later.